The new lock at Three Mills in East London opens up the Bowback Rivers, a network of waterways in and around the Olympic Park. The £22 million project links a three and a half mile system of waterways around Stratford to the 2,200 mile national inland network that stretches from Bath to North Yorkshire. This not only creates a green gateway for freight barges to enter the Olympic construction zone, but will also be an environmental asset for the new neighbourhoods being planned on the site after the 2012 London Games. We've opened this new uh, lock, which is really the first industrial scale lock opened in, uh, in, in London in years, or indeed anywhere in years. What it will do will take two 350 ton barges and it will allow a lot of the construction traffic for the Olympics to, instead of going on the, uh, the roads and clogging up uh, our communities to go up on the, the waterway in an environmentally friendly way. When the Games is all over it will create a marvellous legacy. There will be water which people can use for uh, leisure uh, and uh, it will be environmentally a lot, a lot nicer than it is now. Extensive dredging of the 62 metre lock has removed 30,000 tonnes of silt, gravel and rubble and created a 2.4 metre deep channel capable of transporting 12,000 tonnes of cargo a week. It's estimated the new lock will take the equivalent of 1,200 lorry journeys off local roads each week, saving up to 4,000 tonnes of carbon emissions. It will also provide a green freight route for the redevelopment of East London. I think the biggest usage in terms of number of craft will be leisure craft. And we hope that uh, the boaters from all around the country are going to come here, come and have a look at the Olympic site, and we hope people are going to come from abroad. It's going to be used by canoeists, lots and lots of different users. Water will be an important mode of transport for Olympic spectators in 2012, but the long-term aim of the project is to improve the environment for local people. It's a boost to the network and I think I should always say that it's not just the water but the footpaths on either side of it is going to be marvellous for people to walk on, jog on, cycle on and it will link in with London's, uh, the rest of London's footpath network. As well as providing an environmentally friendly form of transport for London, this large restoration project on the Bowback Rivers is seen as a huge boost for the tug and barge industry on the Thames, which has declined over the past 30 years.